Okay, so we are done with the what if spreadsheet model. So the first thing to do is to click data and then we have to click the solver in the analysis group of commands. And then when the dialog box appears or the solver dialog box appears, enter B15 in the set objective box select max for the two option and then select B14 C14 in the by changing variable cells okay so uh, we have to change the uh, variables B14 to um, C14 okay for the standard and the deluxe bag okay so we have also to set our constraints the hours used uh, from the hours available so we have to select B19 or B18 rather B18 to B21 and select B uh, less than or equal since we are looking for the um, maximi maximization <coughs> and then enter the make un unconstrained variables non-negative and then from the drop down menu for select a solving method choose simplex lp lp and then click solve click solve and then when the solver results dialog box appear click Keep solver solution and in the report section, select answer report and then click OK. So in here class, uh, the optimal solution for standard is 540 and for the deluxe bag, 252. And... Um, uh, considering all the constraints that we have in all departments for the part incorporation, garnering the total profit of 7,660. Let me reiterate, class, that the optimal solution based from the results of the Excel solver is to make 540 standard bags and 252 deluxe bags for a profit of 7,688 US dollars. This corresponds to 0.3 intersections of constraints from the previous topics on graphical solution that we had last time. The answer report which is found in sheet 2 here contains three sections we have the objective, cell, variable cells, and constraints. In addition to some other information, each section gives the cell location, name, and value of the cells. The objective cell section indicates that the optimal or the final value of total profit 7,668 in the variable cell section, the two far right columns indicate the optimal values of the decision cells and whether or not the variables are required to be integered. We are done with the Excel solver. Please follow the steps and analyze. That is how powerful the Excel is. Next meeting, we will give you more examples of using MS Excel Solver for solving linear programming problems.